Good morning. Today we're doing page 225 and 226. And this is bar graphs, our introduction to what bar graphs are. And, and if you look at the top of the page, you're seeing this right there. Um, it says at the top of fact, a bar graph is a picture of information. Bars may be vertical or horizontal. And so the graph that they're showing us here is a horizontal graph because the lines are going across this way. The bars are going across that way. Um, we have four different things that are being represented and they are the labels. Uh, the first label up top is Mars, Neptune, Uranus, Jupiter. At the top we have the title of our bar graph. It says the number of moons for selected planets. So we have these four planets we're looking at, Mars, Neptune, Uranus, and Jupiter. And we're seeing how many moons they each have. If you look at the bottom of the bar graph, you have your scale. And you have these different numbers representing moons for each of these four planets. Let's go ahead and look at 1a. The first question they ask is, are the bars vertical or horizontal? And we already answered that. They are horizontal. The bars are horizontal. You need to write that down for 1a. Horizontal. They're going side to side. Rather, the vertical would be up and down. Okay, the next question. How many labels are used. How many labels? Now you see our labels are right there. Well, how many labels are? There's Mars, one, Neptune, Uranus, and Jupiter. There's four labels. So just write the number four for your answer. And then C says, how many moons does Neptune have? You look at Neptune, the bar comes all the way out to right there. And so if you go down, you see Neptune has eight, eight moons. D, which planet in the graph has the most moons? At the bottom of the graph, we see our longest bar has the most moons. And when the answer is not 16, it's just asking which planet has the most moons. The answer is going to be Jupiter. Jupiter has the most moons. E, how many more moons does Jupiter have than Mars? So we know that Jupiter has 16. We know that when we look at Mars, they have 2. And we have to go ahead and subtract our 16 minus the 2. Our answer is going to be 14. 14. Number two, we've got this picture of uh, the baskets. Let's see. We've got the picture of the baskets, uh, the one basket. It's a baskets of apples picked. That's the title of this one. Our labels are the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And down at the bottom we have our scale. Our scale is uh, by twos, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and ends at 12. Um, as I look at number two, it's saying read the horizontal bar graph to find the number of baskets of apples the Blythe children picked. Find the average number of baskets picked each day. Well, we got to first figure out how many they picked each day, and we're going to add that up. Um, on Monday, we see they've picked, it's right in between 6 and 8. Well, so they picked 7 on Monday. On Tuesday, it's right in between 10 and 12. So they picked 11 on Tuesday. On Wednesday, goes out to 6, so 6 on Wednesday. Thursday, goes out to 10, 10 on Thursday. 
and Friday it goes out to 6, 6 on Friday. Now we need to add these up. We add up those five numbers, we're going to get 40. And now we have to do averaging. 40 divided by our numbers of days. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's five days. So we need to do 40 divided by 5. And whatever you get there will be your answer. That many baskets would be the average of baskets, average amount of baskets picked each day. Okay, now we're looking at 226. 226 says to complete this bar graph, each space represents one doll. Elsie has four dolls, Susan has seven dolls, Megan has five dolls, and Gabrielle has nine dolls. Use your ruler to make it neat. So you need to go ahead and get your rulers out right now. Get your rulers out. I don't want you to just draw the lines. I want you to line them up on a ruler and make them as neat as you can. Um, once you get this one done, you can go ahead and do the rest of the problems on your own. And here's what your bar graph should look like for number three. Go ahead and do the rest on your own. Make sure you're making them look neat with your rulers. You guys are amazing.